Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft Visio. In this module, we're going to look at how to create some shapes that you might not find in any of the stencils. So first of all, I have a stencil called Mechanical, which I've created. And just to remind you how you do that, basically you can go to More Shapes and New Stencil and create your own blank stencil. And then once you've created a stencil, you can go Open and then it will list your stencil. So there's mine, Mechanical, which I've already opened. Now, on this stencil, I've got some shapes that I just want to recreate. So if I bring this one on, it's quite small, that one, so I just need to zoom the screen up quite a lot, actually. You can see there that there's two inverted triangles and a rectangle on top. Just about see that. So as I make this... Um, just make it a little bit bigger so you can see. So first of all, I'm going to try and do that one. Now, in this template, I have not got the basic shapes. So I'm going to go more shapes, general basic shapes, because that gives me these symbols. Triangles is what I'm after. So let's get our triangle, bring that on here. It's going to come on quite large, as you can see. Spin that round. Now I'm going to use my control key and copy that, just drag it over, copy, let go of the control key, and then I now need to um, flip this round. So I'll go to position and flip horizontal so it points back, and then just try and position that nose to nose. A bit more. It's probably just come apart a little bit. That'll do. And then now I want a rectangle. So I bring a rectangle on like so. Just move up a little bit. And then from that rectangle, I need this line. So I can use a connector actually. So I'll use a connector. So it'll go from the connector point to the, connect the connector point in the middle. Just take that off for a minute. Now there is not lined up, so if I move that to the side a little bit, still not lining up. So let's try and sort this out. So that's lined up, but these two are now not lined up. So push this back a bit. There you go. So all three things are now lined up exactly how I want them. If I highlight all three, four shapes, including the line, I think that I can then group and then they become one thing. Now, if I need to add that to my stencil, I can activate my stencil and just drag that shape or that new shape onto my stencil, open it, and there it goes. I'll just call that test because I can remove that at a later date. So that's that one. Now, this one, which I've called Booster Pump, is again something I've created from scratch. So if I hold it up there, that's just basically a circle sitting on a triangle. Back to basic shapes. Bring a circle on and then a triangle like so and then send the triangle back. So you then create that shape and then select group, group. And again, the, repeat the process, um, adding these shapes to your stencil, which I'm not gonna do for this one. So I'll just delete that one and I'll delete these two as well while well, I'm at it. Now the next one is when I draw a line, so if I draw a line, that'll do, and then a, a line coming across it, you'll notice that there's a little jump point there and there. So every time I do a line across this horizontal line, there's a little jump over the line. So to do that, I selected Design and then Page Setup, 
and onto layout and routing and then this is where I selected that option to add jump lines I'll cancel that one off delete these lines oops put my pointer tool back on delete all these lines now let's have a look at the next one so this one now when I first tried to do this I couldn't do it because I tried to go and do basic shapes rectangle so there's my rectangle and then I copied that with the control key and tried to spin that round and then positioned it on top like so <clears throat> but then I've got this line now I want to get rid of this line now I couldn't actually get rid of this line by doing it with these triangles so what I ended up doing was drawing the whole thing manually myself so I shall just show you how I did that I used the line tool so basically draw a line come across come up come back across and then come up and then back across and then put the pointer tool back on and it's not as perfect as that but that is how I did that shape physically drew it with the tools if I go back to mechanical let's have a look at some of these other ones now one of the features I had was this one and that one so two different types of valves so this one is a triangle inside a rectangle with a little line across the top and there is the triangle with the line which I can spin around like so now if I try and recreate these two so first of all back to basic shapes triangle bring a triangle on so in this one I need a line across the top so a line not all the way across the top and then position that line so it touches move it to the right a little bit left a little bit and just take that off now if I put um, the grid on here this makes it a little bit easier I suppose to make this sit central and it looks about central so then I can group these two group these two back to home group so they become one thing I can make it small now I require this shape so that's a rectangle make it smaller Just spin that on its end and then this needs to sit inside of that rectangle so it needs to be a lot smaller than that spin it round like so move it inside the line color also needs to be blue for this example and that's gone to the back so send to back and I think the line is also bold Oh, different thickness not bold yeah different thickness okay so then this has got a line coming in and a line going out so that was let's try the connector tool first off I don't think I, I don't think I use the connector tool but soon find out no I didn't so let's take that off use the line tool So line tool from the bottom and then the top, pointer tool back on, highlight all of these shapes, select group, group, and then resize that shape like so. And all of these shapes, uh, I mean the box there was a bigger line as well, a thicker line. All of these shapes that you create, you can then um, make sure you get the dimensions correct before you add them to your stencil but then you can add them to your stencil 
if we go back to this one and all the rest I think are fairly straightforward what's this one a rounded a rounded that shape is part of basic shapes um, the hourglass I've already done this box okay this box because this is indicating a tank a water tank and then you have these lines sitting on top of that to indicate the water level in that tank you can bring them in a little bit make it smaller like so so that's the water level so basically that is just um, two drawn shapes so again I'll try and re recreate that I used the line again so draw the horizontal and then your outside tank or inside tank it doesn't matter which way you do it so that's the first one there's your let's say it's the inside tank and then you come outside use these little grid lines that you've got on the screen now oops let go so you have to let go come across to these little squares and then up like so point or two off highlight group and then this one is just the water level so these are just lines that are drawn and then grouped let's try and do that one horizontal line another horizontal line not as long and then a third horizontal line not as long again now you can move these up and make them smaller um, join them together it's totally up to you how how far apart you want these but the process is the same group and then all of these shapes you can add to your stencil and then you save your stencil for future use so when you create a stencil these are obviously things that I have drawn but also you could put shapes from other stencils into yours or you could create other stencils personal ones and add pre-formatted shapes to those whichever way you do it what you're trying to achieve is a a place where all the main features that you use are there so that's the end of this session i hope you enjoyed that and i will catch you on the next one thank you for your time